Salento is a small town in Colombia. It is the most popular place for tourists to visit in the Coffee Triangle. It's easy to see why, with its brightly painted buildings and closeness to the picture-perfect wax palms of the Cocora Valley. From riding on a horse to hiking the Valle de Cocora, here are the top 10 things to do in Salento. But before we start our counting, please subscribe to our channel Travel Boss and tell us about your favorite thing to do in Salento in the comments. Number 10. Ride on a horse. Once you've seen everything you can on foot, hire a local Colombian guide and hop on a horse to see more of the countryside around Salento. Plan trips that last between 3 and 5 hours and include steep hills, dense forests, crossing rivers, and stops at waterfalls and lookout points. Number 9. Walk around Plaza Boulevard and Cali Real. Head to the colorful center of Salento to walk around, take pictures, watch people, or just sit and drink a beer. Check out the Nuestra Sura del Carmen Church in Plaza Boulevard which is also where you'll see all the colorful 4x4 Jeeps that people use to get to the valley. There are restaurants, a small grocery store, shops with souvenirs, and a few bars with outdoor seating. Number 8. Tours for Mountain Biking If you'd rather ride your bike out of town, you can spend an afternoon going mostly downhill on a mountain bike to see the Andes, coffee plantations, and dirt roads around Salento. You can choose from different trails based on how fit you are or how much work you want to do on vacation. Number 7. Climb up to the viewpoint. From Salento's main square, you can see colored stairs going up and out of town. From the Alto de la Cruz viewpoint or Mirador, you can see the city and the hills and green fields that surround it. As you go up the path, there are a lot of shops that sell handicrafts, souvenirs, and drinks. Number 6. Stay at La Serena. Even though it's very cheap, this beautiful eco-farm and hostel on the edge of Salento feels like a cozy retreat. A Colombian-style hacienda is surrounded by 20 hectares of farmland, and you can stay in a dorm room, a private room, or a glamping canvas tent. Their on-site restaurant uses food from the organic gardens to make dinner every night, and all rooms come with breakfast. Number 5. Reserva Natural Acane. The Casa de los Colibris Hummingbird Reserve is a must-see detour from your Valley de Cocora hike. Even if you're hot and out of breath, take a short break and sit in the middle of these shimmering hummingbirds. There is a small fee to get in, but in return you get a hot drink and all the time you want to hang out and take pictures of the colorful animals. Number 4. Visit a coffee farm. Since Salento is the most popular tourist town in Colombia's coffee zone, you have to visit a farm that grows coffee. Everyone loves Don Elias, a small family-run farm where all the work is done by hand and all the coffee is sold to visitors. You can take a tour of the beautiful property, learn about the coffee plants, See how the beans are picked and dried, and then try a cup at the end. Number 3. Eat the fish. Fresh trout or trucha is the town's signature dish, and almost every restaurant in Salento has it on the menu. You can get it fried, grilled, or baked, and you can top it with almost anything you can think of. The trout baked in a cream sauce with garlic and cheese is a local favorite. Number 2. Play the Tejo. Tejo, Colombia's favorite explosive sport, is best played in Salento. At the Los Amigos Cancha de Tejo, you can try to throw heavy weights at gunpowder targets across the room. This bar is friendly to tourists, and they even have a mini Tejo court where the distances are shorter and you're more likely to hear that satisfying bang. Number 1. Hike the Valley de Cocora. Prepare for this walk if you want to see the iconic postcard views of tall Quindio wax palms set in lush rolling hills in Colombia. The trek is as beautiful as everyone says it is, so take a 4x4 Jeep from Salento's main square early in the morning to beat the crowds. Pack some snacks, bring a lot of water, and don't miss the side trip to the Acame Hummingbird Reserve in the middle of the hike. 
but if you just want to take pictures of the beautiful palm trees, or if you get there later in the afternoon, take the path straight to the valley where the trees are. These are the top 10 things to do in Salento. Do you also think that hiking on the Valley de Cocora is the best thing to do in Salento? If you like the video, subscribe to our channel Travel Boss for more top 10 traveling videos. Thanks for watching.